Would you take money from Metro to fund police officers as Mayor Lanier did so many years ago? And if not, how do you plan to fund additional police classes? And how do you plan to recruit officers to HPD, given that there is a shortage of qualified applicants across law enforcement all over the state of Texas? Congresswoman, we'll begin with you. Well, obviously, you've got to use a little public and to tell uh, young people, which, by the way, my administration will be focused on Gen Z and millennials, that this is an excellent and wonderful way of serving yourself, your community, and the nation. So I, I have confidence that this city, a livable city, will have that opportunity. But I will not use Metro as a cash cow because I have poor people who need the bus transportation and transit. And those are mostly federal dollars. What we will do, as I indicated, we're getting dollars from the federal government on law enforcement. We're focusing on providing dollars to communities to increase the number. We just got money for 50 new cadets just three weeks ago from the federal government that I was active in securing. And so we will get the cadets necessary, but we also target different areas. We'll target high crime areas. We'll clean those areas up. We'll make seniors feel safe in walking the streets and not have someone of any age attack them on the street. We'll make sure we have an initiative that says no crime here. And we'll get the community to buy in with all the other law enforcement that have not been utilized, including the federal law enforcement that is already here. That's my plan. I have the ability to work with all of them and get them working toward bringing down crime in the city of Houston. Senator, do you need to the questions? No, I think I have a good memory. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Anyone who can hear my voice, believe me. If we do not get public safety under control across Houston, nothing else that we discuss tonight matters. Seniors come up to me in the Heights at a cafe and say, Senator, you have to do something about crime. We don't leave the house after five o'clock in the evening. Families are not taking their children to city parks. It's affecting our economy. We have to address public safety. It's my highest priority. And it can be done. I've lived in Houston when it was a safe city. It will be safe again. We will use resources from terms and management districts. Metro, 280 plus officers, ought to be working with HPD. We don't need to take their money, although the money will follow them as they work in concert with HPD. We've got to work with TSU, U of H, the Med Center, Rice. I can spend the evening naming resources that law enforcement have that are not being utilized. We have to have collaboration and let everyone know that in the city of Houston we're addressing public safety. Yes, would you like to say that? Yeah, I, I, I'm still trying to find out, Senator, what your specific plan is. It seems that you are hesitant uh, to use an obvious benefit, which has been the federal government, to be able to utilize dollars. And it's very clear that Metro is going to be a cash cow. Is that correct? You're going to raid Metro so that you can say you're doing something about crime and then leave Metro where needy people don't have bus transportation. Is that your plan? Well, obviously, you know everything you just said is not opposition. And I respect you, but I would prefer to have the format that we planned on. Instead of your political call, this is too serious to politicize. I know your consultants would like you to engage me, but this is too important. And quite frankly, when you go low, I'm going to continue to go high. Just a comment. Political consultants don't instruct me to ask the truth. I'm only trying to talk to the voters who need to know whether Mayor Jackson Lee has a plan and whether you have a plan. And I do have a plan, and I have a plan for resources, and I have a plan that does not uh, dismember a transit system that is one of the only reasons, or one of the reasons, why we've got the Super Bowl, the World Cup. It's important to be able to do many things at once, transit and make the city safe. I think I can be both. And that's not anything with consultants. That's simply telling the truth. I don't keep telling the truth. Please, you tell the truth. Please, you tell the truth. Move on. Move on. I've, never, I've never uttered the words that she's given the ownership of. Totally wrong. Metro 
this is about an element of our transportation system. But I'll say again, if we do not address public safety, transportation, flooding, and all that is not nearly as important as being safe. It starts with being safe so we can go freely about our business and raise our families. And so, for you to try to attempt to misrepresent my position is wrong. And I'm, and I'm surprised that y'all not to get to this point, but I'm, I'm happy. So let's, let's go on. Any more questions on city financing? So let's start with the first one. A report from the Greater Houston Partnership says the city is spending up to $200 million a year more than it brings in. The report says those budget holes have been plugged using federal COVID dollars, but those will soon run out. A consultant hired by the city in 2017 said Houston cannot achieve financial stability with cuts alone. It needs new sources of revenue. What sources of revenue would you pursue? Senator Whitmire. Well, first, you have to quit wasting money. You have to cut out duplication. You have to reach out to the county and say, please, still in 2024, need two library systems, city and the county, two infrastructure systems. We got two animal shelters, one for the county, one for the city. Cut out duplications. Then you have to reach out to the tourists. Some of the tourists are so well funded they're sitting on millions of dollars. The management district has to help us fund this public safety. But yes, we cannot kick that can down the road any longer. You cannot pay firefighters with COVID federal funding. It's wrong and it will go away. Contractors, the firefighters do not have a contract. But we will find the money, we will not kick the can down the road, and then we will be very transparent with the public. I don't think anyone knows, certainly even on city council, the real financial condition of the city of Houston. We don't have any transparency. You can't see who gets the contract until you read about it in the press to a fraudulent firm. Well, City of Houston, these are dollars that I brought in. Nine hundred and seventy-five thousand almost a million to Houston Police Department, four million for funding an economic project, uh, two million for helping uh, a local city with their sewer, one million to school districts. Uh, these are sources that we cannot ignore. The terms and management districts are already reviewed by the city. Their budgets are reviewed by the city. There's no question that they are good citizens and they want to collaborate with us. But we've got to find additional dollars that are important. How will I do so? Again, public-private partnerships are some of our very large projects that we would have to do. I believe those are great opportunities to do so. In addition, using federal resources around major projects that can help supplement what the city needs. Uh, and then, economic development. Bringing in new and different businesses that creates a higher sales tax investment to be able to give our city a greater leverage in its budget. We have to continue to have new ideas and smart ideas. We have to continue to reach out. You notice I didn't say the state, because the state has not helped Houston for as long as I can remember. But we will we work with them as well. We'll work with them as well. But we'll find the resources by many collaborative smart ways. So let's talk about HISD. The city of Houston does not have formal authority over HISD right now, but one of you will have to navigate a potentially awkward partnership with school leaders appointed by state officials and not Houston voters. How do you work with the current management system to improve student performance and ultimately return HISD to local control? Congressman, we'll start with you. I have absolutely no problem doing what is best for children, but there is no doubt that from the very beginning of the uh, start of the takeover, I was a public. I truly believe that corporate Houston could help HISD and invest in building up its tutorial program and helping those children, which really are very bright. And so we don't have jurisdictional authority, but I can use the bully call. Obviously, those who've been appointed, I have to attribute to them good intentions, that I would disagree with anything that undermines our children, not being able to have the recreation, undermining our particular teachers, putting children in detention centers that should be libraries. We will not have that. But what we will have is a uh, cooperation. If we focus on education, the mayor will stand there with you, looking for resources, again, maybe from our private sector that can help HISD, and continuing to advocate before the Texas Education Agency that Houston is ready to not be under that control. 
It is important to have consistency and truth. The parents know it, the teachers who endorse me completely know it, that I'm the only one that stands for education in this city and will stand for HISD in front of everyone to make it better. Senator McMahon. For years, I've said that how HISD goes is how the city of Houston would go. It's still true today. Unfortunately, HISD was in a crisis eight years ago. Students were failing on their tests. The FBI was going in and out of the administration building. So the Harris County delegation, including our current mayor, Senator Ellis, Representative Thompson, the entire delegation voted for a process to get HISD's attention. Quite frankly, it was working. We have a new superintendent in house, new school board. TA felt bigger. They came in the middle of last spring semester, which I opposed the timing. I've sat down with Mr. Miles over coffee on a Saturday morning and expressed my concerns. It has happened. We need to get behind the children, get the TEA out as quickly as possible. I will have advisors in the mayor's office, former HISD employees, and we will work and do everything we can to improve public education in the city of Houston.